All right, y'all, let's talk. This is what I hope for in this video. I hope that I could spark something in somebody that's at the verge of giving up. I hope that I could change your mind. I've been there before. I get it. There was a few times where I just wanted to end it all. Life period. I'm just no longer ashamed to talk about it, that I've actually been in these spaces. I no longer view myself as weak because I've gotten to this point or those points before in my life. So I, I could talk about it freely now. I could get it off of me now. I could be honest about it now. I was so used to everybody seeing me as like this strong person that everybody could lean on. I'm the light. I'm the light for a lot of people that I was dying and nobody could tell. Nobody could tell. I put in a lot of work. What worked for me outside of God, and no, I'm not trying to impose my beliefs on anybody, but I promise y'all, the spaces that I used to dwell in, I who else put who else put me out of it? It it gotta be something bigger than me. I don't care what you call it. It gotta be something bigger than me. I was conditioned to mask my pain. I was conditioned to not deal with my deeply rooted issues. I was conditioned to just put on a smile and act like everything okay. I was conditioned to do that. What was that in me that made me want to change everything about my life, everything the way about the way I move, everything about how I view life, view love? What was that? I have no clue. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than me, man. And I really wish that everybody could see how beautiful life is. It's polarity to everything, man. Life is cyclical. And that's the part people struggle with making peace with. It's cyclical. And you're not handed more than you can handle. You're not. We have to really start giving ourselves more credit. We really do. I didn't realize that the things that I was going through, that I was a willing part participant. Let me tell y'all what I mean by that. Anything that you focus on you water and you feed. Whatever you water and feed, what? Continues to grow, right? I was so used to dwelling in those spaces, I didn't even realize that I was making the energy grow bigger and bigger because I was angry. I was putting energy toward helping it grow. Running from your problems and the things that you need to deal with, running takes energy. As much as you try to forget about it or you try to deny what's going on, that requires energy. I was misplacing my energy for a long time. I was playing the blame game for a long time. I was in a victim mind state. I made excuses for how I moved for a long time. I was a willing participant. I really was. What keeps me going, I now, I include God in everything. I'm not going to even lie. I'm super grateful. Super grateful. I have a strong why. I stay super active in things that I'm passionate about. I want to, I chose what side of the fence I want to stand on. I know how I want to exist in this world. 
And I hold myself to that. Whatever you are going through, you're going to grow through it. You got to stay open. You got to stay open, though. You got to stay open. You got to see everything. You got to see the full picture. And a lot of us, we only like one track minded. We only like, we only see half of things or pieces of things. And we never see how it's connected to everything. How what you just been through got you here and prepared you for that. As bad as it may seem, it got, <laughs> it got you good, man. A lot of things that I got wrong got me right. It got me right. Whatever you are going through right now, just do me a favor. Don't try to escape. Don't try to escape it. Don't try to find ways to escape it, to deny that it's happening, to mask how you're feeling. Find an outlet, even if you don't trust people. If you haven't got to a space where you understand that trust is not about trusting other people, it's about trusting yourself to experience other people because your experiences with these people are going to help you expand, right? So trusting yourself comes with you not being ashamed of how you're feeling and what you're dealing with, what you've done, what you've been through. We got to remove the shame. We got to remove the denial because it's hindering your growth. I really want to tell y'all what happened this past weekend, but I don't want that to weigh on y'all spirits. It's, life is life. In. Um, I just wish that this person talked to me before they made the decision that they made. When God wake you up on the sun side of the dirt and you are given another chance, know that the rest is up to you. You have to make better choices. Control what's in your control. Everything else that's not, let it be what it is. Control how you respond to it. Have a strong why when it comes to your life. You are here for a reason or you wouldn't be here. You have a purpose. Ask for clarity. Be open to what God is trying to be clear about. Even when it comes to clearing out your spaces, you might be surrounded by energies just to feel like you're not alone, not even realizing you are still alone. There's just bodies there. Clean house. Make room for what God is trying to show you and to bring in. Life is beautiful. I'm telling y'all, man, from everything that I came from, everything that I've been through, everything that I had to make peace with, once I put it in front of me, I saw how it truly got me to where I'm at. I don't regret nothing. I'm not ashamed of nothing. I talk about anything. I take accountability for anything now. What's up? Hopefully that wasn't too scatterbrained. Because that's how I move. I be, y'all don't understand, man. These videos be taking me like 50 million takes. And I be knowing what I want to talk to y'all about. I have a scatterbrain. One thing is spark something else. <laughs> I be mean, talking about. <laughs> Hopefully y'all got something. Something out of that, man. Find, find ways to release. I'm telling y'all. But y'all got to start cleaning up house, though. Other people's energies can affect and block your blessings. All right? Let's do it.